So, you've decided to enroll at Glendale Community College. Clearly, you're a very smart person because you chose such a great school. But don't change your social status just yet. First, there are a few things you need to do to get started. Don't zone out because this video could literally save you time and money in college. You've already filled out your GCC application and received your student ID number. Now you're planning to take your math and English or ESL assessment tests. Wait a second, a test? You're not even enrolled in your first class yet. Why do you have to take a test? This video is your crash course to understanding the assessment test process at GCC. We're going to show you why these tests are important, and more importantly, how to score your best. So what does the assessment test score mean to you personally? Well, it's the deciding factor in just how many semesters of math and English or ESL classes you will need to take to reach your goal. It takes one semester to complete a class, and you cannot move forward to the next level without completing the one prior to it. Therefore, it takes time to move forward in the sequences. Let's review the sequences, shall we? GCC has what it calls a sequence of English classes. The sequence is an order of classes that build on each other. The last set of classes in the sequence qualify for transfer. English 101 is required for an associate degree. GCC offers several basic English courses to help prepare students for English 101, 102, and 104. If you're an ESL student, GCC has got you covered. There are five levels of credit ESL courses before English 101. The sequence leads to English 101 after ESL 151. Please be aware, these are credit ESL courses, and if you are interested in non-credit ESL, then you must take the non-credit ESL assessment for our non-credit program. The same goes for math. The sequence of math classes offered at GCC are designed to help students build the necessary skills required to progress through the sequence and complete the math level needed to reach a certain goal. For example, you can't take Math 100, College Algebra, unless you have acquired the necessary foundation that prepares you for Math 100, which is Math 120 or Math 101 Intermediate Algebra. The assessment test will determine where you will place on this sequence. Does that mean you have to take all of the math and English courses in the sequence? Well, this is where the assessment test comes in to help you out. Your test score helps to place you in the right course based on your skill level. So, now do you see how important these assessment tests are? Relax, don't worry, take a breath, we're here to help. Whether you're new to the college scene and think, how hard can it be? Or you're a returning student who thinks, you've got this. The best you can do is to prepare for the test. Thankfully, GCC has got you covered with loads of helpful study guides, preparation sessions, and sample tests. On the day of the test, you're going to want to be at your best. That means have a restful night's sleep, eat some healthy brain food, and arrive early to avoid stress. Remember to bring a photo ID and your GCC student ID number, but leave your calculator and dictionary at home because this test is all about what's stored in your brain. Now, remember those charts from earlier? Your assessment results determine how many math and English or ESL classes you will need. So it's very important that you take this test very seriously so that your placement is an actual indication of your skill level in these subjects. You don't want to be misplaced and have to take extra classes, do you? Remember, each class is a semester long and you pay big bucks for each class you take in college. The point is to take the time and plan ahead. Because if you aren't prepared for your assessments, it will cost you in the long run. And that means more money spent on classes and less on your favorite latte. Based on your academic goals, you will need to complete a specific level of math, English, or ESL. Your GCC academic counselor will help you plan those out later when you two discuss your goals and plans for college after you receive your assessment test results. First things first. By watching this video, you are taking a proactive approach towards being more prepared and knowledgeable about your expectations for the assessment. The next step is to take some time to review and not rush into the tests, so that when you go in to take them, you are prepared and confident. So, save yourself time and money and prepare for the assessment tests. Then, before you know it, you'll be posting your ultimate brag status. Did you memorize the sequences? No worries. 
click here for printable versions you can frame at home. Are you going to make the right choice and prepare? We thought so. We have good news. There are several ways you can prepare before you assess. Click here for tips and tools to help you score your best. Ready to schedule your assessment test? Are you sure? Really, really sure? Great. Click the box to see your next steps. And most of all, good luck.